Hello again. In this video, I'm doing an isometric scene based on the game Bad North by Swedish developer Oskar Stalberg. Um, Bad North has this exquisite uh, game look, which I've been a fan of since Oskar has been posting his first development tests. So what I'm doing here is a small island scene, which basically the game is featured mostly in islands and very, um, very small environments. On the top left there, what I'm doing is my shading cube. It's just a, a cube that has um, my palette for the top left and right facing planes. And by that, I create this very basic uh, shading for my scenes just so that I can get a sense of what the light's going to look like. With that, I start to trace uh, the outline, which I'm going to keep black, but then I also redrew uh, the shapes for the different areas. And what I'm doing here is basically that, drawing shapes, filling in color and making sure that I'm hitting the correct shapes and the correct planes. So if a face is a certain surface is, is facing my bottom right, it's going to be gray. If it's facing my bottom left, it's going to be that pinkish shadow. If it's facing up, it's going to be that yellow green uh, highlight. I'm adding some uh, shades now and I'll be adding shades gradually as I need to create not only transitions, but also different angles of faces. So these three colors, they represent three planes, three um, directions. And if I need a different direction, I need to add a different color. It just makes sense that that's the way that surfaces work. Also, I want to add some ambient occlusion, some shading, some uh, drop shadows, some cast shadows. And uh, for that, I need to have darker values than I have on the palette right now. The palette's fairly bright all things considered, but because the background is going to be very dark, I want to keep the shadows within a, a mid-tone uh, to bright range so that it stands uh, really well from the background. I'm playing around with different colors, and not only do I change the palette, but by changing the colors on the cube, I actually change the direction of the light. So you can see that my right, uh, bottom right facing uh, surfaces are actually the brightest, which means that we have a sunset because the sun is lower. If the top surface was bright, it, it would mean the sun would be high up in the sky. In this case, I'm uh, basically trying to get uh, the, the surfaces that are on the top edges, the edge between the top and the side on the right side, are the brightest, meaning that the sun is not um, close to the horizon. It's just fairly low, low enough that the, that the top uh, side isn't as bright. I'm drawing some little steps here. Um, uh, Oscar does have a few steps in his mock-ups, but I just really like the way that the landscape is made up with little blobs of, of, um, of blocks of, of uh, rocks and, and cliffs, and they all sort of melt together um, in a very interesting shape. Now, these towers are meant to be octagons. So what I'm doing here is I'm reshaping the top of this, of this tower to include the, this octagon shape. And, uh, and I'm fixing the shading on it as well to reflect that. Um, I think I might miss that edge over there. That edge, the, the mid-tone edge should be a little bit um, wider, I think. But I'm kind of frightened of, of doing it too wide and then it's just becoming a very basic uh, shading job, which I don't like. This house here is probably the weakest element in the drawing, but it's, it was added because it's, it's thematic. It, it's, it belongs in the, the game screenshots that uh, Oscar keeps posting. Uh, <laughs> I say keeps posting. We love him that that he posts. We love that he posts it. I don't mean to say it, it's annoying. Not in any way. It's, it's a delightful game to see. Um, the issue here also is that the, the surfaces are fairly big, and I want don't want them to be flat. And I want them to be very flat. So I'm adding these bricks and sort of stone and some masonry basically to break up the continuous uh, flat surface, so that not only does it become a little bit more interesting but it becomes less monotonous and I can create a separation between the cliff sides and the flat ground. The flat ground being the one that has the least amount of, of texture and the and the sides having texture being that they have either broken up, uh, cliff sides being broken up, or towers that have been built up by blocks of, of stone. Uh, creating the island around is just basically a lasso selection filled in with a color and then I have this brush which actually paints in pixel format meaning it doesn't have anti-aliasing, but it also creates a thickness variation. I'm adding a few highlights here and there on surfaces that I kind of want to show point up a little bit more. That flickering there is just me seeing whether or not, whether or not I like to replace this color with a different one. So just keep pressing Control-Z 
um, to see if I like it a bit better. So overall, the scene is pretty much done and I'm creating the little guys in the game and they're, the way that they're done is that they're uh, basically a silhouette. So the game has loads of them and they all follow along in formations. The theme for this uh, image, this is a pixel dailies uh, image is party. And I just felt that it would be cool to have kind of a, a an evil party of sorts. Um, and so just filling in a little bit more detail here on the parts that are a little bit more blank. Also, I created this boat where they actually arrive um, onto the island. It makes a bit more sense to have that sort of entry point. And um, overall, at this point, I was already fairly happy with the image. I just decided to add some thickness there to the island because the island does look very flat. Also, on the on the right, I had this sneaky ninja kind of guy because I just thought it was cool that he was sort of flanking them or coming in as a surprise. And this is me just saying goodbye to the people on the stream because I was doing a very silent stream. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, see you soon.